Hello everyone, my name is Devashish and I welcome you all to this video. So in today's video, we are going to talk about another MITRE technique which is used by a malicious actor to maintain persistence on a compromised system. So without wasting any further time, let's get into the subject. So the persistence technique we are going to talk about today is known as NetSH helper DLL technique. Uh, it is a very popular technique and uh, listed in MITRE as well. So before we get into that, we have to understand what is NetSH. So uh, NetSH is a command line scripting utility that allows you to display or modify the network configuration of a computer. So it actually gets shipped with uh, Windows system. So if you look for NetSH, you will find out that this is actually placed in you know system 32 folder by default however you have to understand that it doesn't get start automatically when windows boots up so to be able to survive reboot using uh, this netsh technique what attacker has to do attacker has to make sure that netsh get loaded every time the windows start up so that is why uh, we have to pre-assume that uh, the attacker already has some sort of access to the target system and had some right to execute command on that particular system now the attacker wants to uh, survive reboot or you know uh, maintain persistence on the system using netsh technique so to be able to do that what you have to do we have to use command prompt here uh, run as administrator so we'll execute the first command so that this command can be executed through meterbiter session as well as we have already pre-assumed attacker has access to the system so we execute it you can ignore this particular message we, i was doing some experimentation it is coming due to that uh, by default you should not see any of these now uh, we need a dll file which the netsh utility is going to load so for that we need to compile a dll file so in this particular case uh, the dll is pretty simple and straightforward however only thing is it has to export a certain function which is uh, init helper.dll so the name has to be the same and in this particular function what you can see we are actually launching simple calculator to just test that you know the persistence mechanism is working so we'll just simply rebuild the solution and the build is ready so now what you have to do you have to copy the dll to our vm so in this particular case let's copy it to this particular folder and we'll copy this entire path and what you have to do here uh, you have to type a command add helper and the path so again i'm reminding you you have to execute all this command through meterpeter so now what you have to see the moment it tries to load the dll we are actually um, seeing a calculator being popped up so which means the dll load is successful so the one to be able to maintain the persistence now what the attacker has to do the attacker has to execute one more command to make sure the netsh get utility get started every time the computer boots up so for that this particular command can be used so we, um, it looks good the operation completed successfully so we have made sure that the netsh utility gets started uh, at boot time and we also have the dll in place so this dll can be uploaded to meterpeter so now let's reboot as you can see netsh utility has started and it has launched a calculator automatically at the boot time so that's all i wanted to discuss in today's video uh, if you like the kind of content I upload on this channel, I request you to stay subscribed to this channel as well. So thank you so much for your time. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.